Fred Dose able to get by the 16 of Joey Coulter. Ricky Carmichael into the wall. Big damage to the floor of Ricky Carmichael. You see the sparks flying. No, no caution as no of caution. yet. Ricky Carmichael down on the bottom of the racetrack. Right front tire down on that. You see a lot of damage to the outside of that race car. Let's take another look. See him on the outside of the racetrack, on the outside of the 36 of Rob Brett. Looks like he just actually just got too close to the outside wall going around the outside of Rob Brent. Then that I think that's what when the right front tire went down. So Ricky Carmichael trying to get by the outside of Rob Brent ran out of racetrack got into the wall. You see the damage. We stay green here at Texas Motor Speedway. Grant Enfinger continuing to lead. There's one of the race owners Brad Kozlowski watching Chad Finley who's running for it. Caution's going to come out now. Ricky Carmichael not able to get all the way into and onto pit road. Actually, he was looked like he was continuing on. I think maybe his car might not have been able to stop. A lot of times when you hit the wall like that, it'll break a brake road or something like that. So that may have been what happened. Ricky may not have had brakes when he came down pit road. Because we saw him on pit road. We saw him come onto pit road. And then, obviously, issues with that race car. He is just past pit road and the safety crew comes to him now. Here he is on pit road right now. He started the turn in realizes he has no brakes. You see that car not slowing down at all. And kept right on going. Look at how the left rear wheel is slid out from the outside of the body of that race car. That's how hard he hit on the right side. Yeah, bit that panard bar and pushed that rear end housing out the left side. But good move not trying to turn in into an opening or turn into a spit because obviously with no brakes he would have run into something closing in on the final laps of this race this is the seventh caution that has come out and this time it's Ricky Carmichael who had done the damage to the outside of that race car about three laps earlier but was making his way onto pit road couldn't stop in his stall couldn't get behind the wall and so he comes to a stop actually past the exit of Pitt Road. You see Grant Enfinger just in front of the 55 of Steve Arpin. Craig Ghost in the 81 running in the third spot. Arpin and Ghost have been the fastest cars on the racetrack here in the final stages of this race. See Ricky able to get out of that car. He will take the mandatory trip to the infield care center.